Welcome back once again all. Flora here. So we're going to work on Death Mountain. Now, first thing I like to do, pin that tower. <clears throat> this will give you good mapping references to where we're heading. So I'd like to actually depart from the Lanaru Tower. Uh, I'll show you guys a real quick and easy way to get there. But I actually like to take my time because there's a lot of material gathering I like to do on the way up. Okay, so what I'm going to do is get myself on this uh, roadway here, or this pathway, if you will. So this is the roadway that's going to head north, northeast-ish, out of the uh, Zora's Domain area, or excuse me, the uh, Lenaru area. And that's a minor test of strength train there. So right next to that is where I like to be. Go ahead and call your mode of transportation. Oh, and something I should point out is as soon as you're done with the uh, Zora's Domain Divine Beast, I always like to disable that uh, Mipha's Grace. Reason being is the game stops producing fairies. So I personally would rather have a pouch full of four to six fairies um, to come to my aid multiple times than to worry about uh, dying once, Mipha's Grace coming to the rescue, and then it taking like 10 minutes or something to recharge. So me personally, and again, this is a personal preference, but me personally, I would much rather continue having unlimited fairies in this game. So moving right along, there's going to be a fork in the road. You're going to want to veer left. The horse is going to want to go right. We need... crap. We need to go left this time. Now there's going to be a couple of uh, people out here under attack. I always stop and rescue this one because it's usually a silver bobkin. Matter of fact... And I always stop for silver enemies because that's better weaponry and gemstones, of course. And who wants that stupid weapon? It's not my thing. Okay, don't forget to talk to the people you just rescued to see what kind of free stuff you're going to get. Ooh, that's a good one. Especially for where we're heading. And if you're going to get rid of that stupid scale, uh, light scale trident, don't forget the picture of it for you picture takers out there, because it is a weapon in your condominium. Equipment photo, I should say. Okay, there is a croc seat on the way in. I think I just rode right past it, as a matter of fact. Yep, sure did. Okay, just to give you a rough idea on the map where we are here. Okay, so I just usually let the horse continue uh, doing the work, let, ride me right on into the stable here. Okay, and I'm going to recommend... Actually, stand by. First things first, walk, don't run in your stealth. Uh, you might get a free lizard or two while you're walking up to activate this next travel gate at the shrine up here. And it doesn't look like I'm having any luck just yet. And now we're going to enter a new region, which means a new species of wildlife. Uh, that's a hot feather pigeon right there. For you picture takers out there, you're going to have hot feather pigeons... Golden Sparrows, uh, Fireproof Lizards, and Ostriches coming up any time now. Okay, so that is our Koa Meat Shrine or whatever that is. 
So I'm just activating the travel gate for now. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and head back down to my stable. Okay, those are just your typical warm weather insects there. So no lizards just yet, boo-hoo. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and buy a couple of elixirs just so I don't have to walk around, find the ingredients, and waste your time and come back all the way over here to cook them. So I usually only buy one or two here. I'll just go ahead and take two for now. All right, folks. Uh, Beetle doesn't really have anything of interest to me at the moment. But I will talk to him just to make sure it's nothing I'm forgetting here that might be of interest to you all. Okay, nah, pass. Okay, so I will get back on track here. Okay, so there's those ostriches for you, you picture takers out there. And they do drop... Ooh, I just got a fireproof lizard. Cool. They do drop different meat than what you're probably used to getting from a lot of the other stuff. Uh, you might get a whole bird uh, instead of just the thighs here. So you're either going to get the thighs or a whole bird. So either way, it's a good deal. Okay, so I'm just kind of keeping my eyes peeled for lizards that are going to be perched up on these rocks around the area. Normally I see them sitting around by now. I don't know what the dealio is here. Okay, so there's one. And you can always get a picture of one. I'm going to show you guys a little trick to that. So if you already caught a lizard and you want to take a picture so you can search for these guys, go ahead and set a bomb down. Set your lizard down. Detonate your ordnance. And that stuns a lizard for you to get a picture of. Neat little trick I figured out one day when I was trying to get pictures of hardy lizards and I just couldn't find one. And I was like, wait, I wonder if I could just stun one. And it worked out. Okay, so moving right along our main pathway here. Uh, do keep your eyes peeled for uh, more and more lizards, of course. The more you can collect, the better. Uh, we're actually heading to the Southern Mine eventually, and that's going to be um, a good number of them in one little spot. So it's not like you really have to stress over finding ten lizards yet. But in the Southern Mine, well, we, we will need to go ahead and pick up at least ten of them. Okay, so I normally like to do this at night because there's going to be extra uh, fire bats or whatever they're called. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm going to make a quick campfire here as soon as I kill this guardian that's coming up. Okay, so those, there's that golden sparrow I mentioned earlier. Ancient proficiency with attack power meal is the way to go. Normally I do one leg at a time, but that leg was underground there. It was kind of frustrating. So if that happens and he starts getting away from you, just stand still. Uh, usually he'll kind of walk away from you a little ways and then he'll stand still. It makes getting that eye shot a heck of a lot easier, that's for sure. Don't forget all your free extra monster parts from taking the legs out there. Okay, so at this point I like to make it nighttime, and the reason is uh, the fire bat. That's a material you're going to need to upgrade the uh, snow quill set. Uh, they're around, and of course they're going to be in the Akela area too, but it just makes sense if we're going to consolidate the effort to go ahead and Get as many as we can while we're walking up toward the tower here. Oh, 
Oh yeah, and I like to wear the Ganon armor, because you're going to have a lot of those stupid stall things popping up, and that'll kind of just be a better way to go there. Alright folks, so just go ahead and continue up trail here. Now there are some Karak seeds in the area. Um, I always try to collect Dragon Bone Moblin Clubs when they present themselves. So yeah, Karak Seed's on the way up. There's one up here off to the left, and I think it's playing basketball with a rock. Now don't bother checking these things. They, they don't have the free monster parts in the Death Mountain area. I don't know why, that's just the way they did it. But uh, either way, here we are for our first Karak Seed. So continuing uphill, there's going to be luminous stones, uh, regular gemstones behind false walls, and as I mentioned, fire bats. I missed. Okay, so I'm not going to take the time to harvest all these luminous stones, but I do recommend you guys do that. So just continue up trail here. Every one of these lanterns up on the walls of these cave systems should have bats flying around. A bat or two bats, depending. Now normally I've gotten extra fire bats by now, but uh, I think I actually turned at night a little late in my trail. So what I would advise is back toward the stable. That's probably when you want to make it nighttime, because uh, you'll you'll get more fire bats that way. And the more of these materials you can gather, the better. All right. So the first of our gemstones, there should be two of these just like this one here. They're usually pretty lucrative, and I say usually because not always, but I usually get better uh, quality type stuff here. tough to decide. Okay, so that's how I got amber. You know, like I said, it's usually lucrative, but every now and again you'll get flint, rock salt, or amber. Alright, so continuing on up pathway here. We're real close to the tower at this point, just to kind of give you an idea on the map. Getting real close here. So, these bats normally wouldn't be here, but of course it's nighttime hours, so that's the only reason they're here at the moment.
And the reason I use bombs is I like to save wear and tear on my weapon systems as best as possible. Okay, there should be a treasure chest off to the left here somewhere. Okay, so right when you get to this sign and this little cliff wall you have to kind of climb up, that's where that treasure chest should be. Or so I thought. I didn't already get it, did I? No way, Jose. Where is it? What? Okay, maybe that's just old man memory kicking in. I could have sworn... There was a treasure chest there. Okay, so anyway, this is about the point you're going to catch on fire in the game. So this is a great time to go ahead and consume a fireproof elixir. I'm just going to use one of them for now. Because we're real close to that tower. Now there's another stalker guardian coming up, just FYI. And I do need a picture of one because there's a side quest later on in the game where you need a, a photo of a stalker guardian, a flying guardian, and a guardian from inside a shrine. It doesn't matter which one. So I might as well just go ahead and get it here while I'm on the subject. Okay, so right when you get to that garden, you're welcome to go kill it if you so desire. I'm just going to go ahead and go around here. Oh, fire bats. Poopy. Hey! My shield didn't work. What was up with that? That was weird. Oh well. Apologies for the uh, waste of time here, folks. Thought I had my shield out there. Maybe I didn't. Okay, so anyway, I'm just going to go around that stalker guardian. Uh, I normally just kill it, but I'm trying to speed the process up here for you. It's not working out that way so far. Okay, so you're going to get some fire lizzles in the area as well. Now, I like to kill these guys. Come on. Bow. Oh, it's broken. Because uh, that's materials that you're going to need. So, um, do take the time to kill all your fire, bre fire breath lizzles. There's also a treasure chest here right next to the tower. Okay. So here we are. I don't think you need to watch me climb the tower, so let's go ahead and meet back up topside, and we'll continue on route to uh, Death Mountain. Or Goron City, I should say. Mm -hmm. 